Okay, this short video is about Moodle outcomes. Now, outcomes are specific descriptions of what a student has demonstrated and understood at the completion of an activity or course. Each outcome is rated by some sort of scale. Uh, other terms for outcomes are competencies or goals. What I'm going to do is in my practice site, I'm going to create a new scale and this scale will then be applied to the outcome and we'll create an outcome and then we'll then create an assignment where the student would submit the assignment and we would judge whether the student has met the outcomes of the assignment. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is in the administration panel down here, I'm going to go to grades and this is going to be about setting up a new scale. Okay, and if we go to scales along the top, and here's our scales. So there's some standard scales that we've got in the college. Um, mainly they refer past merit and distinctions. Uh, they're used um, on a lot of online assignments. Uh, these top ones actually come as part of Moodle, the separate and connected ways of knowing. Um, but I'm going to add a new scale. Now I can add it so that it's only available in this course. Okay, so this scale I'm going to call it pass fail. I'm not going to tick the standard scale box because that would make it a college wide scale and I just want this as a scale for this course. Okay, so what we do now is we go from the negative to positive, putting a comma between each section of the scale. So my negative one's going to be fail. We're going to have pass as the positive one. And I'll put distinction in there as well. Okay. So there's my scale there. So that's a custom scale that I've made. Okay, what I want to do now is create outcomes. Okay, and let's say I'm doing it creating an assignment um about uh assessment, let's say. Okay, so I've clicked on outcomes and here's outcomes used in the course. So I've got to edit outcomes because I haven't made an outcome yet. And I'm going to add a new outcome. And let's say it's to do with Black and Williams. It's not a standard outcome. It's not used college-wide. It's just used in this course. Okay, and my scale, I'm going to use the pass and fail scale that I've just set up there. Okay, so my outcome would be Okay, so the outcome is that the student has shown an understanding of Black and Williams assessment and classroom learning. And I can save that now. So there's my outcome there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set an assignment now. So I'm going to go back into my practice site. Okay, and let's say in topic 9, I'm going to have this section I'm going to put my assignment in. So I go to add an activity and I've got four options here for the type of assignment. It's just going to be a single essay that they're handing in, a single Word document, so I'm going to choose upload a single file. Okay. So my assignment name is going to be assessment. Um, Okay. 
Okay, so I'm saying write a short essay describing some of the main research around assessment for learning. Okay, so my grade, I'm happy for that just to be out of 100. The availability date of the essay, so they'd be able to submit from the 30th of September at this time, and is due in at that date. Prevent late submissions. If I change that to yes, student would not be able to submit it through Moodle at that time. But I'll just keep on no. Allow resubmitting. This is if you want to do drafts and have it so that the student can then resubmit afterwards up until the due date. Email alerts to teachers. When a student sends their essay in through Moodle, the teacher in the course will get an email to say that this student has submitted. And you've got the maximum file size of their file they're submitting. Okay, but down here we've got Outcomes, Black and Williams. So this essay is relevant to this outcome. So I'm going to say I'll tick that box there because that's going to be a relevant one. So I'm going to save and return to my course now. And there's my essay set up. So if I go down to topic nine, there's the name of the essay, assessment. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to log in as a student and we'll show you how it looks for a student who will actually submit their essay. Right, I've now logged in as a student and I'm into my practice site. So I'm a student in this practice site. So I'm going to go down here and I can see I've got an assessment to submit. So if I click into there, here's my assessment. Write a short essay describing some of the main research around assessment for learning. So I've gone away and I've created a Word document that's got this essay in it. And I'm going to submit this now. So I just click Browse. And I'll find the relevant essay. There we go, assessment, Word document. And I can upload this file. OK, so we can see there that there's my essay submitted, assessment doc. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to log out of the student and log back in as myself, as a teacher. And we can see how we can then see if that student has met that outcome. OK, so I'm back into my practice site as myself. Um, and if I now scroll down to the assessment, if I click into here, we can see in the top right corner here it said view one submitted assignment. And so if I had chosen when I first set up the assignment that I was to receive emails, when assignments were submitted, then I would already received an email saying that there was one submitted assignment here. So if I click into this here, so here you can see my class list. And we can see down the bottom, here's the student that submitted the assessment doc. And we can click here to grade this. You can see down here, the outcome that applies is Black and Williams. It applies to this essay. Um, but nobody's been graded having completed the outcome yet. So if I click on grade here, this is the box that will appear so you can put your um, assessment feedback into here. So up at the top here, we've got grade. And let's say I can put a grade here, let's say 77. And we, I can, in the big box here, I can put the feedback. So we'll say excellent work. If I wanted to do audio feedback, I could use this loudspeaker icon and click in there and record a bit of audio and the student would receive audio feedback. Um, but with regards to the outcomes, if we look up here, we've got Black and Williams and that's the outcome that we have for this assignment. And I can change that to any of the three in the scale that we had set up previously. So let's say I'm going to say that's a distinction for that outcome. Okay, and I save that changes. And what it says here is send notification emails. The student will receive an email saying that his work has been marked. And we can see now down in the bottom here, we've got the student test as a student. 77 out of 100, and the comment was excellent work. And over on the right-hand side here, we've got Black and Williams distinction. So they, if they've achieved that outcome. We can also now go into reports. If we go back to my site, and what I'm doing, I'm going to go, go into the grade book down in the bottom left in the administration where it says grades. 
and along here I'm going to choose outcomes report and this will show me that for the Black and Williams outcome is the course course average it's not a site-wide outcome and the number of people that have achieved the distinction grade I can also go to user report and choose the specific user and the first section here we can ignore these are just stuff that's been in my practice site before but we can see here assessment 77 excellent work and the outcomes there has been a distinction and that's how to do Moodle outcomes